Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to do the decrease crown bind off or cast off uh, for a circle loom. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is mark your pegs for this cast off. And the red pegs right here are our decrease points. So whatever loom you're using, it doesn't matter how many pegs, um, take and separate into five sections. See, one, two, three, four, five and mark it as evenly as possible because not all looms are going to divide by five. This one has 48 pegs, so it's 10 and nine and 10 and nine and 10. Um, that's how I was able to mark this one to make it as even as possible. And now how to do this decrease, you're going to go to your marked pegs when, you're, when you get your project to the length that you need it Go to the peg that you have marked. Take the loop off the peg right beside it. I'm going to the left. You don't really have to go to the left. That's just what I'm doing. If your tension is tight, you can untwist the stitch if you need. And then put it on that peg that is marked. Take the bottom over the top. You're going to do this all the way around. The end goal in this in this bind off is you're just taking some of the bulk out of the top of the hat. So you want every other peg on this loom to be empty. And that's how this is going to be when you are done. Which the stitch I did had some purl stitches and some knit stitches in it. So it's kind of tight on here. You just gotta make sure you wrap very loose. Okay, so do that step all the way around. Once that's done, you will have five empty pegs on your loom. And the rest of the pegs will have just one loop on them. So now you're going to uh, knit one row, which if you are doing a design, you can keep that design or you can just e-wrap the whole round. So go ahead and do that now. Once that is done, you will have five empty pegs on your loom, and the entire loom, um, all the pegs only that have any yarn on them will only have one loop. Now you're going to do one round in whatever stitch you are doing. You, if you want to do just e-wrap, you can. If you were doing a pattern, just keep your pattern up. When you come to the empty pegs. You just skip them. Just put the yarn behind it and go on. Okay, so do one row. Now that first row is done in this cast off. Now you are going to keep up with the design of wanting every other peg empty. So you're going to take your marked peg and we'll have an empty peg and you'll have a peg with, with yarn on it. Then you have another peg with yarn on it. We're going to take that was at the third. Yeah, the third peg from the red one and move it over and you're always going to be moving them the yarn towards the red one whichever way you're going so that's going to give you two empty pegs you're going to do this all the way around and when you're done your loom will have 10 empty pegs on it just remember to take the bottom over the top Okay, go ahead and do that all the way around. That's done, and now your loom has 10 empty pegs. See, marked peg, empty peg, empty peg. Marked peg, empty peg, empty peg. Marked, empty, empty. Marked, empty, empty. Marked, empty, empty. And you're back to the beginning. So you have 10 empty pegs on your loom at this point, and you're going to just repeat that second step again to where you're going to follow whatever design whatever pattern, stitch pattern, you were previously doing all the way around the loom. So if it's e-wrap, you e-wrap. If it's purl stitches, you purl. Um, if you just e-wrap this crown, it will change. You'll, it'll be a noticeable difference from your design unless the rest of the hat is e-wrapped or unless maybe the hat was garter stitched. That one might not be too bad. But go ahead and do one row. 
that row's done. So now it's time for another decrease. And that's all there is to this um, cast off is you decrease, then you do one row. You do a decrease, then you do one row. And each time you're only decreasing one from each of these five sections. Now, since not every loom will divide by five evenly, not all the sections will be the same size. So let's say I'm doing my decrease and this section and this section, there's nothing to decrease in it, but there is in this one, and I will say this one, that's fine. You decrease what you need to and you keep going. As I said before, the goal is you want to have every other peg empty. So you don't want, you don't want any two pegs together with yarn on them. So just keep doing the decrease. I'll show you again real quick. Our third one, so we got our mark peg. There's an empty peg, peg with yarn, empty peg, peg with yarn. So this one needs to be an empty peg. And you remember to take that bottom over the top. And do one more. Empty peg, peg with yarn, empty peg, peg with yarn. So we need an empty peg. You take the bottom over the top. Empty peg, peg with yarn, empty peg, peg with yarn, empty peg. Just keep doing this until you're back to your initial one, which that one's already done. Okay. Empty peg, peg with yarn, empty peg, peg with yarn, and then make this one an empty peg. Let me see if that, okay. Is that all of them? One, two, three. So each section should have three empty pegs in it. And of course you do one row. Um, at this point, just keep doing this process until every other peg on the entire loom is empty. Then I'll show you what you do from there. Now that that part is done, we can continue with the pull string cast off uh, to finish this up. Now, sometimes with your looms, depending on the number of pegs and how they're separated, you might have spots where you end up with two empty pegs together. That's fine. Um, just, I think this one I had two, just because two of the sections had nine pegs in it. So that's okay. Now to do the pull string cast off, you're going to go all the way around the loom. Um, you're going to take your working yarn and wrap it two times around the loom and cut. And then you're going to take it and pull it through each of the remaining loops on the loom. All the way around back to your first one. Once you are all the way around back to that first peg, Let's see it like this. Then you're just going to take everything off the loom. Just like this. What you got going on when it's uh, completely off the loom of course whatever the body of your hat will be different but now you just take and pull the pull string tight now be careful depending on the type of yarn you have it may uh, break I've got I'm using homespun so that's kind of an, a common issue with it is if you pull on it too hard it's gonna break I actually want to take I'll flip it inside out so you can see what the see it's really not depending on how bulky it is it's not a very good uh, reversible cast off because you're gonna have some loops up here so I do suggest that you just use the cast off one directional one direction <laughs> Okay, and as you can see, it gives you kind of a flat cast off, and it's not bulky at all. It's actually very smooth, 
which is really nice, especially if you're doing like rib stitches or anything real chunky. That when you pull it all up will have a big knot up here. At that point, you're going to weave in your ends and you're going to be done. Uh, that's really all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope this helps. Any questions or comments, leave in the comments section below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.